Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is what is the report tooltip page or what is a tooltip page? Now what happens in Power BI on the visuals you get a tooltip. Now that tooltip is like a text tooltip where you get the major and the value. If you want you can add additional values. You can add the majors into the tooltip and you'll get the additional values. Now, but if someone asks you that I want to see a chart on the tooltip, then that's not possible using that particular tooltip. You have to use a page there. So we have a page type, which is tooltip, which we can use. And that page can be used as a tooltip and that will appear on the tooltip once we do that setup. So let's go to the definition. The tooltip page in the Power BI reports is like a separate page in the report, which appears when user hover over the visual. It gives more details about the data in the visual. You can use it. To explain the data in more depth or add interactive chart. Power BI allows you to customize the tooltip that appears when you hover over the data rather than sticking with a default pop-up page. Now how to create a report tooltip page? Let's understand that. To so create a new page and set up the type as tooltip. Now this option again is part of the format pane and format pane has undergone few changes over a period of time. So there are little different options which are there over a period of time, but you should be able to get how to make page as a tooltip page. Then add the content to the page. Now go back to the page and the visual where you wanted to show this as a tooltip page. Now in the visual, you have to go to the format pane, either general or the properties, depending on the version of the Power BI you are using. You have to turn on the tooltip and there you have to choose the page which you have created in the tooltip page. So in this manner, you will be able to use a page on the tooltip of a visual. So let's try that out. For that, let me jump out of the Power BI. I'm here on the Power BI desktop. I already have a page Q66 where I have a visual on which I can add a tooltip page. So right now, if I go, it is showing me the basic tooltip. This is brand and this is the net value. These are the two things which is available in this visual. Now I would like to show a category wise chart whenever I hover over here. So how can I do that? So let me add a new page. And let me call it Q68. This is the question 68 for which we are doing. So Q68, I can also call it Q68 tooltip, but for the time being, let me call it as Q68. Now on this new page, go to the format. So make sure the format is available here. If not, you can enable it from the right hand side pane. If not, under the view tab, you have the option format. Enable it from there. Now inside the format, you go to the page information. And inside the page information, you can change the type as tooltip. Once you change the type as tooltip, so then you have this keep all filters. Keep all filters means all the filter will be passed. If you disable it, not everything would be passed. Then what you can do is whatever you wanted to pass, you can add that to the show tooltip on means based on that only the filtering will happen. So you can do that. Now here you got this page size. Now this is a little smaller page size as you can see here. So what I can do here is basically I can create a visual here. So I can create a category wise chart here category wise net then i can convert it into a pie visual let's say i can do some adjustment i can do the name adjustment and everything if i want. now if i go back to q66 i come to this page and now i want to show it it will not show automatically what i need to do here is i need to click on this visual go to the properties switch on the tooltip which is right now switched on already choose report page right now it is auto auto means it's going to show the default tooltip Go and select a page, Q68. The page is appearing because we have marked it as a tooltip page. Now, if you hover, it will start showing that tooltip. If you don't want to pass all the filter, let's say you have brand and category here in this visual and you don't want to pass the category, then we have to do some adjustment. So let's add category to this visual. Let's add category. Now here, if you see, it's going to show single, single category because it's passing on the category. But what happens if I don't want to pass that? Then you have to go here and then drag brand into the show tooltip on and switch off keep all filters. So we have switched off keep all filter. We want it on brand. Now go back to the 66 over over here. Now you can see that you are getting multiple categories. It is not coming because of category. It's coming because of brand. So now we are not passing category from here. We are only passing brand. So we have done that change. The question may be asked on this property itself that how do you control what is getting passed to a tooltip? This is also an important question to remember. So go ahead and try this out. I have another video on the tooltip, which I've shown all these things in detail. So you can also refer to that. I will provide link into the description. 
Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topic you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.